Hi everybody and welcome back. My name is Alison, the online piano and the online violin tutor. Today I'm going to talk about how to read violin music. Um, quite a while ago I did a video, on, a very quick video, in how to read music in under 10 minutes, which was mainly for the piano, um, and it gave you the notes on the lines and in the spaces and everything, and you know, the F -A -F -A -C -E spells face, every good boy deserves football, and all that kind of thing. Um, but then some of you are writing comments saying that you want something a little bit more specific to the violin, so whilst that helps you to understand which notes are which on the actual written sheet music, it doesn't really necessarily help you so much in the violin. So that's why I've come up with this little chart. Now to get the link of this will be directly underneath this video. The, link are, the links are completely free, download and you can print it out to your heart's content, but it will be in the description bar directly underneath this video. So go, you'll find it there, go and click underneath this video. So how to read violin music. Now when I teach people to read violin music, it is a gradual process and we normally do it four by four. So we don't just go in like we do on the piano and just, just learn the notes and you know, because we've uh, we've got two hands, we've got 10 fingers. So it is slightly different. With the violin, we learn it string by string. And what that means is that on the violin, we have the G string, the D string, the A string, and the E string. So everybody knows that, four strings. We also have four fingers as well that we use on the violin, and the thumb is used underneath to prop up the violin. So we'll have the, the four, open, what we call the four open strings, so which are indicated by a letter zero, because it'd be no, obviously no fingers, open string. So we learn the four open strings, and then we learn where the four open strings are on the violin. And then we learn the four first fingers on the violin, and then the four second fingers, then the four third fingers, and then the four fourth fingers, which are actually the open, it's kind of the open strings, but I'll go on to that in a second. So what I've done with this chart is you will see that I've done it by string by string. So I've got the G string notes, D string, A string, and E string notes here. So um, the first line here is the open G, one on G, two on G, three on G, and four on G, and where the notes are. So starting off with G, the next one would be A, B, C, D. So it just goes up one after the other, like a, you know, like, like a scale. So the next one here would be starting on a D, open D. The next one, the one on D would be an E, two on D would be an F sharp, three on G, three on D would be a G, and then the four would be an open A. So what you might notice is that the fourth fingers are the same as the as the string above it. That applies to all except for the fourth finger on the E string, which if we did have another string from the E string, then that would be correct, but we don't, so that, that kind of doesn't work from there. So, so there we go. So what I've done by the side of that is, is just that you can see where the first fingers, second fingers, or the open strings to, to start with, first, second, third, and fourth fingers go on the line. Um, so that, that's kind of it really. So, so what it depends whether you want to go horizontally or whether you want to go vertically. So whether you want to go from left to right or from kind of up and down, top to bottom. But the open G string looks like that one. And then the first finger on the G string, which gives you an A, looks like that one. And so on and so forth. Um, so that's, that's kind of pretty, pretty sort of pretty much it really. If you wanted to learn the four open strings, which is traditionally traditionally how you would learn the violin, you'd learn where that one is on the violin, so the open G string, the lower one, and that's where it sits on the music. And then the open D, that's where that sits on the music. The open A sits there on the music, and the open E sits there on the music, okay? First finger on the G string sits there, Second, first finger on the, the D string sits there, and, and so on and so forth. And it's just a case of learning it. So I would probably just learn it sort of, um, you could either learn it string by string or you could learn it sort of number by number. So you could learn all the open strings first, then you could learn all the first fingers on each string, you could learn all the second fingers on each string and so on. So my advice would be to not to sit there staring at this chart and trying to remember it because you won't. It's almost like monkey see, monkey do, isn't it? What you see, you'll learn a lot. What, what you see, 
you know, you can learn some, but if you do it, you'll learn an awful lot more. So you need to perhaps use it in conjunction with some exercises. I've also linked some free exercises directly underneath this video, which I've actually taken from my original um, lessons one to 10 violin course that I did um, pretty much when I first started this channel and they've proven to be very, very popular. So I'll put those excess, I'll put the links to the, the playlist so you can see all those, the one to 10 videos there. And I'll also put the links to the free exercises, which give you, which give you like six or six or seven exercises um, per page or per string. So you've got loads of ex six exercises just all on the open string, six exercises using the open string and the first finger, six exercises using the open string, first finger and second finger and so on to help you learn. But this is just a quick and easy little chart if you just want to go back over things. And like I said, they're all here as well so you can see the finger placement. But if you get stuck, remember, that um, the first one is the open G, which is why it's on the G string, and then it goes up in a scale, A, B, C, D. The first one is the D, open D, E, F, G, A, and so on. For those of you who might be wondering, um, there, are, there are a couple of little symbols here which kind of look like the hashtag key, but it's what we call a sharp sign in music. And on the D string, you've got an F sharp, and on the A string, you've got a C sharp with a second finger and on the E string you've got a G sharp. Now for those of you who might be thinking, um, you know, why have I just put a, a, a G sharp, F sharp and a C sharp and nothing else? Well, you guys know the answer to that anyway. Um, so you know there is, you know the reason why I, I've put that in there. But for those of you who haven't understood the last 30 seconds of what's just come out of my mouth, you don't really need to worry about that. And by the time you do understand that, then you know you, you won't have that question anymore. You you will understand it. So a second finger traditionally, which is always quite next to the third finger, um, is you guys know that it will just be an F sharp, a C sharp, and and a G sharp. So that's all really um, pretty much you you have to kind of worry about here. Um, so yeah, I mean that's just a, a really quick and easy chart. All the links are in the description bar. They're free as per usual to click and print out and everything. Any questions, leave them in the comment bar underneath. Um, but yeah, I just hope you enjoyed a really quick and easy way to remind yourself how to read music or where the notes are on the, on the violin. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.